So I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys for my anti-inflammatory recipes and videos. And I am always getting requests as well for more content on this and more topics and more ways to help. So I started thinking, what's a really easy way that someone can start incorporating anti-inflammatory foods into their diet? And we've already talked about what the top anti-inflammatory foods are, what are the top inflammatory foods that we want to avoid. And I've also given you a five-day anti-inflammatory meal plan for you to follow. So what comes next? What is something that would be super helpful. So this got me thinking that, you know what? Smoothies are so easy and such an easy way to start incorporating not only more protein, but also more anti-inflammatory foods into our overall lifestyle. So today I'm gonna go through six of my favorite anti-inflammatory smoothies. Now you'll have some extra smoothies that you can just go to and pull on if you're having inflammation, you wanna reduce it, or if you wanna just have them in general and just help to reduce your overall inflammation naturally, which is always a good way to go. So I hope that sounds good with you, let's get started. So let's talk first real briefly about what some natural anti-inflammatory foods are that we can start incorporating into smoothies because it doesn't have to be these exact recipes that I'm sharing with you. You can kind of create your own using kind of a list of ones that are good go-tos. And you'll notice in some of my recipes as a sweetener, I use raw honey. And I've been asked a lot from you guys whether or not honey causes inflammation. So I focus on raw honey. It hasn't been uber processed by added sugars or preservatives, and it has all the good nutrients still in it. So the those high sugar, really processed honeys that aren't really honey, but just look like honey, <laughs> those are inflammatory and I would avoid those. If you're gonna sweeten your foods with an added sweetener, I would recommend raw honey, pure maple syrup, or coconut sugar. Those are really the best natural sweeteners to be adding. You can also do things like adding dates to add added sugar naturally that isn't gonna have an inflammatory effect. And before I get into the actual recipes, I kind of want you to have an arsenal of ingredients that are anti-inflammatory that go great in smoothies. And the way that these ones are chosen is they're high in antioxidants, which is great because antioxidants work to reduce the free radicals in your body, which helps to reduce inflammation. And plus they have bioactive compounds, which is also great for reducing overall inflammation. So first one is berries, duh, right? Berries are great, high in antioxidants, perfect in smoothies. You can use raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, all sorts of berries. They're just so tasty and they add a lot of punch. They also are pretty low in sugar too. So if you're trying to have a low sugar smoothie, berries would be a good way to go. Apples are great. They have lots of fiber, they have good bacteria for your gut, and that really helps to reduce overall inflammation. Avocados are so good in smoothies. They add a creaminess to it. They have this nice healthy fat, and that fat is really high in monounsaturated fats, which is a really good type of healthy fat that we want to be including into our diet. They also contain potassium and magnesium and fiber, so they are great for reducing inflammation. Oranges are a really nice bright citrus that I like adding into my smoothies. They have a lot of anti-inflammatory properties, and they also so are high in vitamin C as well. So those are good to add into smoothies. As someone who lives a cleanish lifestyle, who strives to have a holistic anti-inflammatory approach to foods and exercise and daily activities, you can bet that I'm gonna have some really tasty anti-inflammatory protein shakes that I go to at all times and I have daily. All right, so let's do these. First off is my blueberry muffin protein shake. This is so good and tastes like a blueberry muffin. So prepare yourself, it's delicious. Blueberries have so many anti-inflammatory properties. They're just one of the best berries, in my opinion. They have such a nice mellow flavor and their color is just so nice in smoothies. This recipe has full fat Greek yogurt in there and it has some rolled oats. So it's definitely gonna leave you feeling fuller longer, which is like magic to my ears because that is what I enjoy about protein smoothies. So this one is really nutritious and just one of my all time favorite smoothie recipes. Next, I have my Pink Power protein smoothie. This one is powered pink through beets and it's really cool. I love the color and it's a really neat way to add in beets into your daily lifestyle because you know we all don't have time to go and roast a bunch of beets. They take a while to do so if you have them just like frozen in your freezer you can toss them in and it makes it really really easy. And so beets are really good at reducing inflammation. They're one of those high carb high starch root veggies and so they are definitely a good thing to add for an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. They're also packed with betalanes and nitrates which are anti-inflammatory so good for for you too. And believe it or not, through reactions in your body, when you have beets that contains nitrates, your body, as it processes that, it turns the nitrates into nitric oxide, and that helps your blood flow. The better blood flow you have, the less inflammation you have, and the lower blood pressure you have as well. All right, kiwi and kale smoothie. This is one of the most popular smoothie recipes 
recipes on the blog, so definitely one that I would recommend checking out, especially if you like kiwis. Really, the kiwi and the kale have so many anti-inflammatory properties that it's just like a one-two punch for inflammation. It's just a really good way to get those into your diet. You have this nice green smoothie that's delicious. You can't help but feel healthy as you're drinking it, which I think adds a lot to your overall enjoyment and overall positive mindset. I love feeling healthy when I'm eating, so that makes a big difference for me. And this one is definitely gives you all the feels. It's also really vibrant and fresh and has banana in it. it. Makes a really good morning smoothie recipe, I think. Staying on that green protein wagon, I also have a spinach-based green protein smoothie that is really good. It doesn't have the kiwi in it, but instead of having that kind of vibrant light feel to it, this one has peanut butter and banana and some coconut milk, so it is very lusciously smooth and sweet feeling, even though it's really healthy for you. And it's pretty heavy too, so it could be a meal replacement as well, especially because you have all of the nice pieces of a healthy meal. You got your healthy fats, you got your carbs, and you got all of your protein in there, so it's definitely a big winner in my book. I love this one. All right, so what if I told you I had a caramel apple protein smoothie? This sounds pretty fantastic, right? Well, good news, I have one. It's so good. It tastes like caramel apple in there. It's just, it's shockingly delicious, and it uses dates for sweetness. It kind of has this kind of caramel flavor, so it's really, really tasty. And dates are also a really good natural sweetener, plus they contain a lot of antioxidants, so they're great for adding to an anti-inflammatory protein smoothie too. Plus, research suggests that having apples can help to lower cholesterol levels, as well as C-reactive protein, or CRP, which is a key marker of inflammation in the body. So apples in general are really good to add into overall anti-inflammatory meal plans. And another one that's perfect for the fall is my sweet potato protein smoothie, and it just has some really nice touches of cinnamon and nutmeg in there. Sweet potatoes are the very starchy root vegetables that have the healthy complex carbs so you're getting the fiber and all the nutrients from the roots and then also it has the cinnamon in there which is an anti-inflammatory spice and it's so good I also add in a little touch of ginger and I sweeten it with pure maple syrup and I think these the combination of all of that gives you all the fall feels and it's just a nice smoothie maybe like a late afternoon smoothie to kind of get you through the day it's kind of heavy I also want to note that it's important for all of these recipes to be having a high quality quality protein powder. Whether you're choosing whey or plant-based or whatever your preference is, having a protein powder that is low in added sugars, low in added artificial flavors and colors, and high in clean protein is really the way to go. That's actually why I started Cleanish is because I felt like there was a real lack of good tasting protein out there that was good for you. Stay tuned for that. We're going to be launching protein powders really soon and I'm so excited to bring new flavors to you. It's a plant-based protein and I'll have a whole video on it in the future, but definitely focus on good quality protein because that's gonna be part of this whole cleanish lifestyle. Check out my anti-inflammatory playlist and definitely start having these smoothies, reduce that overall inflammation, and I will see you in the next video.